Hello everybody and welcome again to my YouTube channel, May Fine Art. And today's video episode is our travel vlog going to Versailles, Paris. So Versailles, this is one of the famous places to visit in Paris. There are some reasons why you should visit the, the Chateau de Versailles. When you are in Paris dedicating a day to visit the Chateau de Versailles is greatly suggested. This is one of the largest places in the whole of Europe. The Chateau de Versailles boasts of history, architecture, size, and absolute elegance. Find out why going to Chateau de Versailles is well worth the visit with this guide. A brief history of the Chateau de Versailles. First of all, you need to know the history of this place to better appreciate this landmark. The Chateau can be best explained by understanding the influence each king exerted in Versailles between 1624 to 1789 and beyond. Louis XIII. The Chateau de Versailles dates back to 1624 when Louis XIII built a hunting lodge at Versailles. Between 1631 and 1634, this country residence was replaced by a stone and brick chateau under his orders. Louis XIV. It was Louis XIII's uh, son, King Louis XIV, who transformed Versailles for good, which is demonstrated by the affinity he had towards Versailles. From 1682 onwards, the Chateau of Versailles became the official royal residence and on 6 May 1682, Louis XIV was the longest reigning king in the history of France, ruling the land for 72 years. Louis XV, when King Louis XV moved to Versailles, he built a smaller apartment called Petit Appartement de Rue. Furthermore, at the end of his reign, he built the Royal Opera House in 1770. And last, Louis XVI. Louis XVI's reign will forever be associated with the outbreak of the French Revolution and the end of the Versailles Royal Era. Actual building costs for Versailles are debated by the modern historians because currency values are uncertain. So guys, let's watch further the video. Thank you! Welcome again to my YouTube channel, May Fine Art, and we are now in Versailles Palace here in France. So, if you can see, this is the famous palace of Louis XIV, way back 16th century. So, guys, come with me and let's explore the place. So we are waiting to get inside and as you can see there are so many people already like, lining to get inside. Now it's 11 in the morning and if you buy via online you will have a better access. So. We will check it in your app. That's it. And they will just scan it. Merci. Uh, uh, madame. Uh, ça c'est la mienne et pour madame. Voilà. Ça va, merci. Merci. So we are entering. Ça va. 
here is a special way for So guys, we are already inside and they are having really a very strict quality control and um, control for the uh, touristic materials you know they, you need to put your things inside for a screen and there are some guards here so this is to check that all your phones And my son is also helping getting our things. They have this beautiful ceiling design, modern. Ay mga kids din dito na nag field trip at al cute cute nilang lahat. So we will take the lift. Noah. Hi Nathan! Hi Nathan! Hi! Yes, we are looking at the golden um, painted decorations on top of their plafond uh, structure.
but it seems it ends to that because of the French Revolution. Guys, from here, um, you can see that very nice garden in that side. I will just focus. Some of the tourists. We are looking now at the magnificent structures and design. Ceilings are painted. Hi guys, so now I am looking at the one of the famous rooms. But suddenly there's a woman there. Um, the first floor. Anyway. The present chapel of the Palace of Versailles is the fifth in the history of the palace. These chapels evolved with the expansion of the chateau and formed the focal point of the daily life of the court during the ancient regime. Versailles Chapel is one of the palace's grandest interiors. This is the view as seen and where the king and the members of the royal family heard mass. The floor of the chapel itself is island with polychromatic marbles and at the foot of the steps leading to the altar is a crowned monogram of an interlaced double L alluding to Saint Louis and Louis XVI. The sculptural and painted decoration uses both Old Testament and New Testament themes, and the ceiling of the nave represent God the Father in His glory, bringing to the world the promise of redemption, and was painted by Antoine Coypel. The half dome of the apse is decorated with Charles de la Fosse, the resurrection of Christ, and above the royal tribune is John Jovenet the descent of the Holy Ghost upon the Virgin and the Apostles. During the 18th century, the chapel witnessed many court events. So in 1664, Versailles took over from Paris as the new setting from the festivities and entertainments of the king. Sa painting na, na ito, pinapakita yung mga paste, family paste ng mga royals noon. It was here from 7 to 9 May 9, 1664 in front of 600 guests and directed by the Italian stagehand Carlo Vigarani that the Placers the Estuary Enchanted Pleasures of the Enchanted Island was performed. So guys, this is the end of our first episode of our visit in Versailles Palace. And in our second episode, it will be very exciting. I will feature the famous paintings in Chateau de Versailles. And not only that, I will tour you around the different rooms of the palace 
like the Hall of Mirrors, the King's State Apartment, the, the Royal Chapel, the Royal Opera, Marie Antoinette's uh, private chambers, the King's Apartment, and the Queen's Apartment, and many more. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed this first episode video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I will be very happy and I will greatly appreciate it. So thank you so much and see you next time. Bye!